I don't know, okay? Hi, I'm Robert Wall. Exactly 50 years ago, a teenage cartoonist named Bob King first created the character of Batman. When I was a kid, I, I was always interested in the innovative stages of the locomotive, all automobiles, all early innovations always fascinated me. And I saw this book by Leonardo da Vinci when I was 13. And da Vinci had a quote your bird shall have no other wings but that of a bat. And he actually, there it was for me, a bat man. Batman is a picture that um, has been a dream of mine and my and partner Peter Goobers for many years. This past year has been the realization not only of a 10-year partnership but of a project that was there at the inception and so it's quite exciting. Come on, Or not, they've entrusted this entire operation to a 30-year-old guy who looks more like a lead guitarist than a leading director. Imagine having 400 people asking you a thousand questions and having to have all the right answers instantly. Meet the amazing Tim Burton. Just do 
a little look back, you know, because I want to see a little look back on the camera. There had been many scripts written, many directors, great directors involved with the project. There was a moment in time with John and myself, saw Tim Burton, saw his creativity, and the project began to gel and began to take on a whole new life. I've never liked the idea of making big budget movies at all. I thought Batman was, were, you know, it, it was one of the things that could probably sustain that, or, you know, that made sense to make it a bigger budget. Peter and I always had a vision of this picture, um, which is not too far off from where we've ended up, although Tim came in and began to make all those pieces possible. I wasn't a big comic book fan, but I was a fan of the image. I mean, there's something very powerful to me about, you know, a guy dressed up as a bat and taking place at night and all that sort of thing, which I loved. And again, I remember when I was in art school, uh, we talked about, you know, like the five most, the, the five images, sort of, of the, the, the most recognizable images, and it was like... Uh, one was Mickey Mouse, I think one was uh, Coca-Cola, and I think the other was the Bat Insignia. So, I mean, they're, they're very powerful. It's a very powerful image, and I, I just love that. It's almost impossible to bring a legend to life on the screen. Everyone has their own personal vision. At first glance, Bruce Wayne appears to be an ordinary enough guy for a multi-millionaire. So what makes him so different? He's also trained himself in body and mind to combat crime, turning himself into this fearsome creature of the night. Originally, we had hoped to have Bill Murray play Batman. And when Peter and I saw Beetlejuice, we realized that it wasn't Bill Murray that we wanted, that it was Michael Keaton, because he had a kind of likable, uh, attractive quality, but also had underneath an, an insanity. And then he had a... Now you want to get nuts? Come on! Let's get I've done two or three different kinds of movies by this time, and but this is the first one where I was truly part of the whole puzzle and whole picture. Also, it's the first time I've ever experienced being in an undertaking that's this huge. I was at once a participant and a spectator. I uh, watched very few dailies, but the few that I watched, I found myself saying, this is amazing watching this movie. And then I realized, wait a minute, that's me in the movie. I kept forgetting I was actually in the movie. You know? And you lied. Well, you lied to me about leaving town. Well, let me tell you why. Let me tell you. You invited me out, we went to dinner. I thought we right. felt something. Well, and I trusted you, you and I even slept with you. I can't believe I did well, that. And then you I... wouldn't return my phone calls? You must be some kind of jerk. <laughs>